Alrighty, so I'm trying to find a redstone mod because I want to be able to see the signal strength in each individual block to make it easier so I don't have to stretch it out, you know, and oh, okay, there's 15 and count back and yada, yada, yada. <sighs> but in doing so, I came across a YouTube video of somebody with a piece of a memory cell and they're having issues trying to turn it into an actual memory cell so this little creation here I call terabit this is going to be a 13 digit signal strength based calculator this is the multiplication setup that I am nearly complete with I just have to finish up the program sequence down here and everything else is complete this is my RAM core for input number storage. I know it looks a lot confusing, so we'll just go over this way. I started with one memory cell that actually had a manual store and manual reset buttons on it. So you would actually have to uh, you know, do a whole separate line for store and a separate line for reset. I have a button here for this guy. He is a manual reset. But, oh, actually for that one, I should go like over here to my test rail. Okay. Auto reset disabled. Show you the signal strength. Yeah, I know. I'm a little laggy. Camtasia is being a bitch. That's where it ends. Torch is on, so we have no store. Empty memory cell. So, we'll go with one. And poof. It auto stores a one. Or I can go all the way up this way. And now it's got a, what is that, 7 stored? And normally, in a comparator, if you have a signal strength of 7 looping through and you push a 3 into it, nothing's going to change. All you're going to have is a 7 strength in there. Well, I've got this figured out. I hit 3 and poof, 3 is stored might be wondering how that is. This is a slightly expanded memory cell. Between these orange blocks here and these two comparators is where the actual value is stored in a comparator loop. This repeater right here is for the reset signal. This repeater and this comparator technically are unneeded, which I'll show you on this RAM cell, seems how you've seen it work at this point. Now I can go back to the compact model. The button on there is a manual reset, seeming how this is technically a clock. I put a manual reset on every one so I can make sure to have them all reset before I log off because of the uh, Stims Redstone server that I'm on at the moment. But anyway, right here at this point is where you would do your input push any analog number you want into there at a two or more tick pulse and it will store your number. Push a different signal in there and it will auto reset and auto store. And on this block or this line right here is where you can pull your output from and go on from there. So yeah, there's your analog memory cell. This is my auto plus one cell using my special adder configuration. So we get zero in here and comparators only do subtraction so we have to do subtract or er, subtraction or er, addition by reverse subtraction which sounds really screwed up. So you take your input signal run it through a c comparator as an inverter Take a, another comparator in subtract mode, add in the value, or subtract out the value that you want to add, 
re-invert the signal, and poof, you have analog signal strength addition, which is the basis to my analog base 10 adder, which took me a long while to actually uh, refine to this point. Yellow and blue are the inputs. First thing that it counters is a greater than 5 detect, because when both inputs are 5 or greater, that will allow me to and carry down here. And this subtracts 5 from either value, because I'm carrying both those 5s as a carry 1 or carry 10, depending on which way you look at it. If one value is 4 and one value it, you know, exceeds 6, then the 5's detect won't enable, so there's a separate 10's detect here, and after 10's detect, there is a 10 subtract and carry. So there's two different carry functions on here for the uh, inputs equal to or greater than 5, and sum equal to or greater than 10. Using those, I can compound them and stack them together to create an adder of any size I so desire, running the carry through this little doodad over here as a plus one system. So as I get a carry from one digit, it comes in and, wait a second, am I poking at the right side? Yeah, it comes in and It comes out here, goes down here, over to here, pops this piston up, and adds one to the next adder. Very nice. This little guy over here is my special condition multiplication matrix. It's an 8x8 matrix with shared rails. Every other rail is uh, upper digit and vice versa with low digit. And then I have an upper rail and a lower rail. So like 9 times 9, uh, 8 comes out on upper rail, 1 comes out on the lower rail. I, I use an offset storage to store it into a predetermined location, which I come up with the position in number A plus the position in number B minus 1 equals the storage location of the 1's digit. And the next preceding 10's digit section is selected at the same time for the output. Now, I said special case on this thing, and you might be wondering what that is. Originally, up here, I have a actual 9 by 9 matrix, but why should I even bother multiplying by a 1? I have a 1's detect on both the X and Y axis for the matrix, and on a condition of 1, all I do is feed the opposite rail into the 1's rail, and my multiplication is done, because 8 times 1 is 8, and yeah, so on and so forth. So, that's a basic overview of... Uh, my current analog technology and um, yeah you may not entirely believe me but I only bought Minecraft less than a month ago I have two weeks and six days on this server and I already have something this big I have a novice rank and I have two plots so you might want to, you know, check back on this channel if you're looking for any uh, analog signal strength based tech because that seems to be the direction that I am traveling. Eventually, I will have a uh, an entire signal strength analog based computer put together. And running timing on that is going to be a pain in the butt because I can't just, you know, push stuff along. Uh, too high a speed when I need to uh, compact stuff. I have to use this slow bus as a serial bus, or 
If I have to go great distances and I have the room, I can use this guy, which is my high-speed bus, but it takes a lot of space. And there is a clock stop mod on our server, so on occasion the pulses just never reach back to me. Okay, that means we have a redstone error. Well, anywho, I hope you all like my creation, and I hope you can find uh, some use for a 16-state memory cell. So, go ahead and use it. Oh yeah, you guys probably want to see a quick build, so... Do -do 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 -do. Come down here, and you start out with... 6. Drop one here, kitty corner. Take this side nope it's this side loop it around the back Sl uh, slam one in that corner and grab your comparator point it in there point that in there this this one in subtract mode one additional comparator to here for the program a repeater here for reset the obvious redstone and manual reset and there you go there is my analog 16 state memory cell just remember input is here output is here and here is reset on my system for reset I use a lot of uh, the torch under where you put a torch under this block and have it uh, powered down and when you do a, a master reset you can have them all on a rail and push a button and poof every memory cell will reset simultaneously or whatever you have the repeaters and everything set for so we just broke 12 minutes on this so I'll quit talking your ear off and I hope you all enjoy my calculator build that's about 50 percent complete and I hope you have fun with that memory cell just uh, Try and give me a little credit, because, you know, this is, like, four or so days worth of tinkering around with a half BS cell that I saw from somebody else, so. Alright, enjoy, guys.